if you if you all notice that nothing in nature ever dies in the winter. I don't care where you live. 40 below zero on the east coast, you know, Canada. Nothing in nature ever dies in the winter. Nothing. But next to nature, everybody's farms, everything freezes. Because the covering's been removed. This material is an insulator. Are you getting God? So do you, none of your stuff dies in the winter? I eat food out of my garden the whole year. People come to me, what do you eat in the wintertime? I look at them, answer your own question, what animals eat in the wintertime? Because everything in nature is growing fine in the winter. Excuse me? But you see, this is an insulator. This insulates the ground. And all winter long, I have live food in my garden. I have for greens, cilantro, <clears throat> parsley, lacinato kale, Russian kale, live fresh greens all winter. I have fruit, root vegetables, um, beets, carrots, rutabagas, all winter long. And what's so hilarious in the winter, I had this, I had this organic farmer. It was so scary. I mean, I was blown away. An organic farmer from Ontario, Canada, comes here in, in January. He's out in my garden, and he looks at my carrots. and Says, "Oh, you can't eat those now." I says, yeah, "I can't eat them. I eat them every day." I says, "Pull one for me." I says, "You can't pull it because you know because it's big. You know, pull it up." So he bends over and he braces something. Almost fell over because it came out so easy. <laughs> he looks at it. He's flipping out. He says, Look at this thing. So eat it. He says, I never in my life had a carrot this sweet. Because you see, in the wintertime, when the ground freezes, the sugar content come, con comes up, and so your carrots in the winter are so much sweeter than the summer ones. And you know who thought this up? God knew there wouldn't be a lot in the winter, so he just makes them sweeter. I'm just, I'm just telling you, if we just connect, it's just, it's so awesome, his goodness. And his design is so perfect. And see, all these colored things, you know, the color, the seasons are so critical. Things, you should only eat food fresh in season. Only. Did you hear me? Can I tell you something? You guys, all of you are pretty affluent, well off. You live the most boring, funky life on the planet. <laughs> Excuse me. You all buy the same garbage from the stores, dead food, and then you bring it home and put it in your refrigerator and let it die further, and then you cook it and kill all the enzymes. And you eat the same junk every week, year round. Go buy the same stuff all the time. I go out here in the spring and my, my strawberries are coming out in April and like I have several handfuls and I just can't believe the flavor. I'm just like, wow. Just as I'm getting used to those strawberries, my raspberries come in. Like, wow, this is a whole other element. Like, whoa. Just as I'm getting used to those, the blueberries happen. Then the plums. Then the pears. Then the apples. And then next year, it does it again. So all year long I have these incredible, awesome flavors and, a, and just incredible joy at meaty eating. I never go to the house. I don't use any silverware. I have no no dishes to wash. You know, if, if I I'm telling you, man, it's just, and I'm starting to get I'm starting to get. This is how we're supposed to live. And can I can I can can I connect you to to, to the words of Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount? He wants us to reconnect. And he says this: Consider the birds of the air, and he could include all the animals because they didn't fall, they didn't separate, they don't sow, they don't reap. They don't store food in barns, but your Heavenly Father takes care of them. And then he poses a question to get our attention. He says, aren't you of more value than them? What he's trying to say is, I plan on taking care of you all the same way you disconnected. And do the math. Mm -hmm. Animals are totally relaxed, no stress. They carry no health insurance, don't go to doctors, have no stove, no refrigerator, and live abundant good lives because they eat everything fresh in season. You want to hear the science? It's scary. The scientific fact is that in 10 minutes after fruits and vegetables are picked, not 10 hours, 10 minutes after fruits and vegetables are picked, they lose up to 80% of their metabolic properties in 10 minutes. And that's why God, when he created Adam and Eve, did not issue them a stove and refrigerator. <laughs> Excuse me? He did not issue them a stove and refrigerator. We were never designed to eat dead cooked food ever and if you remember and if you notice when we get back and Jesus comes back and when he puts it back like it was it says everyone will be under their own vine and under their own fig tree we're all going back to the garden because we should have never left that was the initial design it was perfect and it's how we're supposed to live it's how it's going to be for the next thousand years so just get get ready for it and get used to it because this is our future yeah Live food, fresh in season. Let me just tell you some of the some of the wisdom of the live food. Asparagus is an incredible food. When does asparagus show up in the garden? March. March. March, April. What did March, April follow? 
What did March, April follow? A winter when you had no greens. Good. Excuse me? Your body is craving greens and you're out in your garden ready to plant because you're hungry for greens. Your body's saying, I need greens. And asparagus just pops out of the ground and you start eating it. Ever notice when you go to the bathroom after you've had asparagus? The urine <clears throat> odor is so overwhelming, nothing does that. But with asparagus, it's like, whoa, I had asparagus. I mean, you can't miss it. I mean, it's there. Are you hearing me? Everybody get it? Well, you know why? Asparagus sends roots into the ground 15 feet. Not inches, 15 feet. They're pulling up minerals that no other produce on the planet ever touches. They are the most mineral-rich produce that exists. And you know when God has it show up? In March, April, when you're the most mineral deficient. You think that's a coincidence, an accident? <laughs> Let me tell you another cool one. You older folks that are here, when you were growing up, track with me, no one anywhere had skin cancer. I live in Los Angeles where it was hot. We were getting sunburned all the time, major exposure to the sun. No one had skin cancer when I was a kid. No one. Because back in that day, everyone ate tomatoes that were growing fresh in season outside. Are you hearing me? All tomatoes were growing outside in full sun. They did a test on tomatoes, if, uh, outside grown tomato in full sun, and they examined it. They found 300 phytochemicals, 300 phytochemicals in a sun ripened tomato. And explaining how they work. A tomato skin is no thicker than yours. You look at that tomato, it takes direct sunlight, 100 degrees plus all day long, and it never blisters. It's totally smooth and gorgeous, beautiful skin. Well, there's a phytochemical in that tomato that protects the skin from blistering. The same tomato they grew in a greenhouse, they tested it. It only had 50 phytochemicals. 250 were lost with light going through glass because it interrupted photosynthesis. Today, skin cancer is rampant because everyone are eating tomatoes that are growing out inside of greenhouses. And the insanity of eating tomato in January, there's no sun. You don't need it. Tomato is a nightshade. It's not good for you all year. God only had, you know, God has it ripened. It's in August, September when the sun's the hottest. And you need the most protection. You think that's a coincidence? An accident? I'm just telling you, man, it's huge. And see, people are eating tomatoes in January. They, they to taste totally bland, totally worthless. And they're buying them. Completely unnecessary, not needed. And you see, when you live in a climate that's not hot, tomatoes don't grow there. Because you don't need the protection. You think there's an, a there's a, there's a, there's an accident here? <laughs> I'm just telling you, you start connecting and start observing what God does, you're like, wow. The design is so perfect, and when you alter it and change it, it's only negative and degrading. It's incredible.